Hello everyone, Plant Medicine here, uh, aka Chris. Um, I'm just doing a little review. I've, I've like bought a lot of things um, just by like watching videos on YouTube and uh, reading the books and all this stuff. And I've bought a lot of things that's just kind of a waste of money um, because there were either better products out there or I didn't need them. Um, but anyway, the first one is I'm just going to do like a little review on loops and uh, microscopes that uh, I bought and do the best and the worst. So anyway, first one I bought was this... Um, this loop, jeweler's loop, came in a nice little case. It seems like every, uh, sorry, cat's getting in the way. Seems like everybody uh, has bought this one. Like it seems like it's on all, everybody's channel. Um, it has a little LED light that you can turn on for each side. There's two different uh, magnifications. There's a 30 times magnification and a 60 times ma magnification. The 60 magnification is the one that you're really gonna need. Um, I find like that to be like the perfect one to actually see the uh, trichomes, trichomes uh, extremely clear and really tell you like where they're at um, in the cycle. So anyway, um, this one, it's it's really cheap. <laughs> um, I got it too close to the one of the plants when I was trying to um, check out the trichomes and I got some of the resin on the lens and I tried to clean it. So I took a little napkin, I started like wiping it and all the lenses collapsed and fell out. And there was like, I can't remember, like three or four little plastic lenses. Um, I easily popped them back in and I got it, you know, to work again, but it is kind of cheap. And for some reason, I really have a hard time like looking through that uh, small optics, but um, this is probably my least favorite of them all. And it's about $7, it wasn't that much of a waste, but still would have rather I didn't buy it at all. Um, the second one, it's this other magnification magnifier here and it's uh used for currency detecting with led microscope and it's a dedicated lens it's just 60 times so there's no 30 times uh magnification just 60 and i actually really like this one um again it has led lights also and you can actually move this so you can actually set it on a surface and kind of use it like a magnifier too. And I like this, that the light moves so you can actually, you know, move it to whatever, uh, whatever looks best, like through the lens, you know. Um, let me think here. Again, I think this one's about $7 also as the other one. I think this is really good for uh, just kind of like checking your plants really quick, like going in and, you know, check a bunch of uh, different uh, plants and see the trichomes. Um, handheld works out really well. Um, and then the last one is this magnifier and it has an LED also. Um, it is a microscope. So again, you could put it on a, a book or, you know, whatever table. Um, it's great, but you have to cut off like a piece of the plant matter, you know, so you usually like cut off a piece of the leaf that has like, you know, a bunch of trichomes on there and you put it under there, turn the light on and it's, and then it also has a, uh, a zoom on here just goes back and forth and it goes from um, 60 to 90 I think or maybe even 60 times 100 I don't see anything it says it on there but um this one actually I mean anything over 60 I think is too much oh actually I'm sorry it's a 60 to 120 I should probably should prepare for this video a little better <laughs> Um, but it goes 60 to 120. Uh, you really don't need that much magnification. Um, 60 is plenty. And I like it because it's actually, you know, you can really, it's really steady. You know, I mean, obviously it's a microscope, so you, but you do have to cut off a piece of your plant. And you could actually go up to your plant too and try to uh, look through it like that. Um, I did that, but I find it just easier to put on a table and actually magnify it. Um, it also has a zoom, kind of like a camera, or I'm sorry, a focusing ring. I like the camera and then this was a zoom up top but uh this was probably my favorite um it's i think it was about 15 dollars or no 13 dollars and 50 cents i wrote it down um but yeah i would definitely get one of these if you want to uh get like the highest quality one and it's about double the price of the other two so this is probably my second favorite um yeah i don't know <laughs> second favorite and this is probably my least favorite but, uh, so I wasted about seven bucks and that's about it. Uh, let me think here, da, 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 da. what else to tell you? Yeah, I'm gonna try to do more reviews and uh, keep other people's costs down. Cause I did, like I said at the beginning of the video, I bought a lot of things I didn't need. Um, just unnecessary things, expenses add up if you keep buying stuff you don't even use. 
Uh, let's see. I'm also reading this book uh, by Jorge Cervantes, uh, Cannabis Encyclopedia. And it's actually pretty good. I think it's over 2,000 photographs. It's pretty up to date, too. I mean, they actually mentioned YouTube and the internet and all that stuff, so it's not like a super old book. Um, let me think. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it's like I tried to read it straight through, and there's just a lot of information that I don't care about. Um, a lot about like the legalization and how far it's come and the history and all that stuff. And then a lot of it's like so uh, detailed. Um, you know, I feel like I'm in like biology class sometimes and like tell me all this information I really am not interested in. Uh, I really just want to know how to grow great weed and get the highest yields and the highest potency and the best way to do it. But, uh, but yeah, so far this book's pretty cool. And um, it's crazy too because like everything I've watched on YouTube and listened to other people pretty much is in this book, <laughs> you know, uh, word for word in some cases. So... Anyway, but yeah, it's very interesting, and it is expensive, too. I think it was like 35 bucks, but I got it at the library. Um, and I have like three or four other cannabis books on hold at the library that haven't come in yet. Um, but anyway, if I might do a book review on this, if you would call that a book review that I just did. But that's it. Thanks for joining me today, Plant Medicine.